there's an upcoming lecture maybe I haven't done the readings where I can ask ChatGPT to summarize the topic and provide me with some background so I can go into the lecture um, with something to go off and still contribute to class discussion, take notes and understand what's happening. It helps me a lot in editing my own work. So using it as a grammar tool or feeding it a sentence that I've written and I want to make it more concise or I want to make it more scholarly or academic sounding. Um, that's really useful, helps me with sentence structure and phrasing, clarity of expression, just to elevate my written expression. I know that at our university, we have a lot of international students who, for, for whom English is not their first language. And this is very useful in not having to buy a Grammarly um, subscription. This does, this one tool does so, performs so many different purposes. And it's easy to just put in a paragraph you've written that doesn't, could make more sense or doesn't fit your exact word count and you need to cut it down. I use probably three tools the most right now in grad school, although of course I'm very nascent in my program, but I use ChatGPT heavily. I use a tool called Zotero, and then I also use a tool called Speechify. In ChatGPT, I think a lot of us know what that is, um, but Zotero is a way that I can organize and annotate my research uh, automatically. So I can have a place where I house all of the research that I find and organize it. And then when I'm writing papers, I can use this tool to automatically generate citations and a full bibliography based on whatever format or anything that I want. And then finally, I use Speechify. Um, that tool helps basically turns any article, any email, any written communication into something you can listen to. So that has been really helpful for me just in regards of time saving because we have hundreds of pages of articles and things to read. And so one of the most interesting uh, uh, tools I found were like the GitHub Copilot, uh, which was a uh, tool that allowed you basically like have a like a like a Stack Overflow assistant. And basically, whenever you're doing stuff, you could look look over different like um, different uh, code snippets you have and like give you recommendations or even type it out based on like short prompts. And I, the most helpful ones I found were the GitHub Copilot and like different um, tools related to like uh, text or voice processing when I was trying to create videos for class. I think we're excited that there's this tool that makes learning a lot easier and just fast tracks a lot of the tedious processes we had as students and especially towards the end of our degrees in finding jobs. At least for me and my experience in grad school, I don't think I would be able to do this program and be successful in it without the help of some of these tools. It really just saves so much time. Like I have a family, I have a husband, I have a brand new puppy. I mean, I have things that I want to do instead of spending an hour writing a bibliography that a tool can just generate for me. And I think that's what we should really focus on. I think students are so adaptable, amenable. Our minds are still able to be shaped so quickly. And we adapted very, very quickly. At first, it was a very experimental phase. I think end of last year, beginning of this year, but now seems that everyone seems to have just taken it in their stride. It's a part of our daily lives. It seems like oh, if I'm in, sitting in the library and I look at the person's computer next to me, it's like very, very likely they're using ChatGPT. So it's it's like a new calculator, a, a new Google search function. It brings together pieces of information that we weren't able to before. And it's, it's becoming yeah, a new everyday function tool for us. The way I see students using AI in the future is I, I see the development of AI tools being something that is unavoidable and it will be something that will be integrated much more firmly in, in the workforce. So I think in when it comes to education, 
students are going to have to learn these tools in order to be competitive inside the job market. So I think at some point, teachers are going to have to start teaching about these tools just because of how valuable as it is going to be to get a job at whether it be Google or even like a smaller company. I think we need guardrails and policy in place to do this thoughtfully and intentionally. And I think if we all are talking about this and educating ourselves and really thinking about some of the unintended consequences, I think we can and and need to have some of these guardrails and policies in place. The entire workforce is already using it for the same purposes of efficiency. And they know that as students, we're about to enter that workforce and we need to be prepared for it. Our employers are, will be looking for students who are AI literate and know how to use these tools. And if we don't, that's a significant disadvantage. And I'm sure it'll be an interview question or it will be expected that we'll be able to use it once we start the job. So universities seem to be really aware of that and they want to encourage us to become proficient in it while we're still students, learn how to use it, become productive and efficient in doing so. And so then that can then be transferable to our future careers. The only concern I would have in the future is if we have a um, different tools and that makes it so that people are more sensitized to try and replace jobs just simply because it's so much cheaper to have an AI do it. But I think we're still uh, a couple years off until that becomes a, a problem that's going to be in the forefront. It's okay to, to say I'm you know afraid of losing my job or I'm afraid of what this could mean. Um, and I just think we should have more conversations about it uh, in general. I think my kind of ethos here is I think we all have a responsibility, especially folks in higher education and, and IT in particular, in any sector, we have a responsibility. And I think the more that we can do to educate ourselves on what that responsibility is and what that means, um, I think is what we should be focusing on. And I don't really know what that means today, right? I just know something's there. I feel it in my gut. Um, I'm doing what I can at least to approximate, I think, realizing, understanding that responsibility. But I think that would be my call in to this community is how can you think about what this means for you, for your teams, for your friends, for your business, for whatever, and how can you educate yourself on it?